What's brought me down here is that, uh, like uh, people over the world, uh, we are fed up with the corrupt governments and the people behind those governments, the people that are running everything for their own benefit. Um, and what particularly is galling is the fact that uh, uh, there's a ring of paedophiles that are controlling everything in this country and the proof of that is Jimmy Savile. Jimmy Savile went completely unfazed from his evil deeds for decades because he was a close friend of Margaret Thatcher. He was a close friend of Prince Charles. And how do you think our security services let that happen? The only logical conclusion is that he is just one of many paedophiles in positions of great power. There is no other explanation for it, how he could get away with this for decades. And it was an open secret. Terry Wogan, um, a couple of weeks ago, said that it was an open secret at the BBC for decades that Jimmy Savile molested children. Uh, Paul Gambaccini said um, uh, about a year ago that it, was a, a, that it was known that Jimmy Savile was a necrophiliac. And that why was he not put in prison for life back then? If this was an open secret, what other secrets are the BBC keeping from us if they can hide such a terrible thing for decades? Um, do you have any feelings of what other secrets they may be hiding? Well, the fact that, uh, that the, all the news of the BBC is engineered, like last year they covered this and they said it was 400 people turned up when it was more like 3,000. It was such an obviously untrue news article, eventually it had to be taken down from their website. It was up for a couple of days and it got so much derision. They just do not want to tell people the truth. Like they're, they're not telling people the truth about Fukushima. On the 8th of November, they're going to start removing the, the uh, fuel rods from the... Uh, uh, unit 4 reactor cooling pool and if anything goes wrong with that then the amount of radiation released will mean the whole of the northern hemisphere will need evacuating including us but the, the mainstream media is keeping very very quiet about this humanity is lying is, is lying in the balance at the moment and yet the mainstream media keeps silent because, oh. it, because it doesn't suit the people who make all this money out of out of power being something that is that is um, in short supply. To uh, and, and nuclear, they're, they're, we're building a new nuclear station at the cost of God knows how many billions. I can't remember exactly how many it was. They're completely unnecessary. We need to, we need to do what Germany does and go for solar power and go for wind power in a big way. They're, they're generating a large portion of their energy that way now. So if they can do it, we can do it. The way the elite don't want this because you can't just suddenly decide to increase people's energy bills by 10% if they're mostly generating themselves. It doesn't suit them. They want choke points where they can decide how much uh, we ordinary people pay for things. Um, can I ask, how long have you been a member of Anonymous? You have a lot of uh, Anonymous insignias on your clothing. Yeah. Um, I, I first joined the Occupy um, movement in London um, back in um, 2011, uh, back in uh, November 2011. Uh, uh, a couple of days before November the 5th then, so uh, I joined and I found myself in front of Parliament on November the 5th, 2011. Um, I just bought my first mask from a uh, fancy dress shop two days before, who said, oh, we suddenly had a run on these masks, we've got, this is the last one we've got. Um, and now, of course, they are, uh, it's the most, the biggest selling mask in the world in history. Um, there are millions and millions made, there's several factories in China churning them out at top speed. Um, and you will have seen millions of them in use today all around the world. Do you feel there's a bit of an issue there with China pr mass producing these masks, which is one of the things that the people here are actually standing up against? Um, well, it's only a plastic stamping. It's, uh, it's one of these things that uh, if somebody were bothered to uh, produce all the kit to make it, you could make it anywhere in the world. It's just that... Um, China, because it makes all these sorts of cheap plastic things, was the place where... where they're made. Um, I actually import the mask, and the, the, the vast cost is the is the shipping. the The actual commercial price of a mask is a couple of cents, while well, the actual the actual value for customs duty is, and the rest of it is all, is all just overhead of shipping them. I know. I know. People are leaving, so I will yes, let okay. you go for right. them. Thank you very much for talking to us.